Today, let's have a go at making Ariel in her wedding dress. So we're going for a lemon drizzle for this one. So I'm just putting a bit of lemon zest in the buttercream ready. So it's my sister's Hindu coming up and she's a massive Disney fan. And I've not done a princess doll cake for a while. So I thought the great excuse to do one and the little mermaid is my sister's favorite Disney princess. So I thought, why not make a cake? So usually I would use a doll shaped pan for creating one of these doll cakes, but it's a little bit bigger size wise than my actual pan. So I've just carved it out of just round cakes piled up high and all the drips down the side you can see is that's the lemon drizzle that I put on my cakes. It's just buttercream sandwiched between it as well as the lemon drizzle. And then I'm covering the whole thing once I've carved it to shape in white chocolate ganache. Now you could use buttercream if you want guys, but ganache is gonna be that bit firmer. So, cause it's quite tall, heavy cake it's just gonna help support it all. Now, I've gone quite thick with the ganache, but it just means that I can sculpt it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna make the doll itself out of modeling paste. And I'll put links below the video to everything that I have used. I've used a polystyrene ball in the head for this one because if not, it's gonna be very heavy and I don't want it to fall over and tear through the cake. So. I realize I haven't showed you in detail the face on this one. If you do need uh, more detail on making faces, I do have an online class for that as well. So that might help you out. I'll put links to everything below the video, guys. So we've worked on creating her a bit of a body shape and a face shape. It might help if you want to print off a template of um, Ariel so you can follow that for the size and that can help as well. I'm painting up her face using the edible pens. So we're not gonna eat this face because it has got a polystyrene ball in the middle and anybody you're giving the cake to, you would need to just let them know that. We're also using edible powders for creating shading around like her eyes and a blush. And then her eyes are just filled with some white modeling paste. I'm gonna give her some little teardrop earrings. So I am just looking at a picture of Ariel while I'm doing this, I'm not just freestyling from memory. I've used the pens in the eyes, um, just black modeling paste in the centers for the pupils. The same for like the eyeliner, it's just modeling paste. And then we're going over with a black pen to create the individual lashes. And of course we need a dot of white in each eye just to give them a bit more sparkle. Eyebrows, I've stuck them on, but I did go back over them with a red pen to make them more the right color. I'm gonna give her some like little sideburns in the red for her first. Pop that to the side, let's get the body in place. Then I can push the head on. The polystyrene ball is gonna help that head stay in place a little bit better as well. So I'm gonna now cover the skirt in white fondant. I'm gonna do it in like a panel at the front and then the rest hopefully in another piece. So we'll cut that down to the size we want. I'm just gonna trim any extra off the bottom. And then it's a much bigger piece for the rest of it with like a little slip missing out the front because obviously we've already covered the front bit. And I'm gonna carefully pull this around. You might have to stretch it so it meets like the bottom a little bit. And I'm just trimming it so that the first panel I put on at the front, you can see. I did trim it around the bottom, although I probably trimmed it a bit too short. And then she has this bit that kind of goes around sort of the top of the skirt. So we're just gonna cut that in. If you need to mark it first with like a dressing tool, you can do rather than just guessing where the cut line needs to be. So I'm gonna cover the body in a thin layer of modeling paste or swap to modeling paste for the body just cause it's easier to use for fondant and I've cut that to shape. And then I'm gonna work on the hair. Just make sure everything feels fairly firm before putting hair on because hair is very heavy. So we've got one piece on there first. I'm letting that kind of firm up. And then I'm just working out whereabouts I want her arms to go. So I've put some wire through her body for the arms and we can add the arms to that later on. Okay, so let's go for like a pale greenish trim around the edge of her dress. At least I think this is the color when I'm looking at the pictures. And then we're gonna make some white arms. So these don't include the hands. We're gonna stick those on separate in like a pale flesh color. So I do make hands and arms in quite a lot of my other doll videos, guys. So it's worth having a little look at those as well for more detail on that. So she's got big puffy sleeves. You'll notice I have just put a little cocktail stick at the back of her head just to hold it upright to make sure she's not leaning. And then we're gonna put on a bigger piece of hair. Again, it's very weighty, so just be careful. Make sure the body isn't sinking down when you're adding this.
and then like the front fringe pieces is it called the fringe now and this is i guess what makes ariel look like ariel the color of her hair and that big piece that kind of sweeps over her forehead so the ariel cake went down really well at my sister's hen do um i apologize i didn't get very good footage of it but everybody enjoyed it and that, that's what counts so i've forgotten her crown but i literally have got five minutes to get to the hen do so she's gonna just gonna have to come with me as she is <laughs> oh you enjoyed this one guys <laughs>